I'm wiring in my Prius IQ proportional brake controller on an 87 Dodge van. These are not plug and play. You have to be an electrician. So I remove that lower dash panel. I drop the emergency brake. I'm sorry, I dropped the hood release. Everything that's in the way, just take it off, make your life easier. On my Dodge, the brake pedal, they want you to tap the red wire into the brake pedal that's not hot. On this 87 Dodge, that's the white wire. You have a pink and a white. The white only lights up the test light when I step on the pedal. And then I chose to drill a hole in the firewall. And I drilled that hole between the hood release and the speedometer cable. It's uh it's up in there. See if I can get my hand up in there. I drilled right, right there. If I see my finger, I can't even see my finger. Ah, uh, where are we at? Well, we'll go to the outside. I drilled between the emergency brake cable. I drilled between the hood release. Now I've got the hood release and the speedometer cable right there. And I had to do that from the outside, of course. See right there. Be careful you don't bung up these wires. And then here is what they require a circuit breaker that will reset if it trips. And I put that to the firewall with a couple of 5 16 inch bolts and nuts. And then the lead that goes to the battery, the positive to the inside, that'll plug right on there and I'm good. And the ground, the white that they want to go right to the negative, I'll put an end on that. And I'll be set. Now the bugger is for the trailer brakes. That wire, I am not going to run that underneath the van. I'm going to run this inside the van because I can. I don't want to crawl underneath the dang van and figure out how to put that up. The last problem is where you're going to mount this because the dash darn the everything is plastic under here so you're going to have to figure that out but i have left enough wire where i might just flop it right up there on the dash and stick it on with velcro there you go my friend and i had to learn to be an electrician to do this because i'm dumb on that stuff and i left more than enough wire in case I have to put that thing up on the dash but there you go the critical thing was to drill the hole there between the emergency brake cable and the speedometer cable I don't know how else you're going to get it through the firewall in these old rigs if you put it through where the dog box is and shut the lid on it you're going to chop the wire in half I didn't want to drill through here so, for me, the firewall was the best way. And I'll find out when I get it hooked up if I can haul a 3,100-pound travel trailer. There you have it.